It is not by accident that this inspection is taking place right here and right now. Inspections are part of the joint control and monitoring activities performed by EU member states and coordinated by the European Fisheries Control Agency. These activities are planned every year, following the results of an assessment of the risk of non-compliance with the fishery legislation. It's absolutely impossible for us to be at every landing or at every vessel on the sea. So the regional risk system is the key for us to not only prioritise who we inspect and where we inspect them, but also to make sure that we're using our resources as efficiently and as optimally as we can to get the best possible outcome for sustainability in our oceans. But what is the risk assessment? Risk is the combination of the probability of a negative event and its possible consequences. Think of a volcanic eruption. The risk to human life will depend not only on the probability of this happening, but also on the magnitude of its eventual impact. In fisheries terms, we evaluate the probability and consequence of non-compliance with the common fisheries policy, defining what are the priority threats, where and when they may occur. We evaluate the probability by analyzing the fisheries and the fishermen compliance behavior. We measure the consequences by looking at the stock status and the level of catches of each fishery. The risk assessment is carried out by areas and types of fishing vessels grouped in what we call fleet segment. Once the risk assessment is completed, the results are used to organise the joint deployment of the control means. Every year, EFCA collects, compiles and analyses a wealth of fisheries information from different sources that is shared with national representatives from all member states. The process is steered by EFCA, together with a group of experts in risk analysis and in the corresponding fisheries. The results of this joint exercise will become a set of recommendations aimed at optimising the coordination of control activities. And this is how risk assessment contributes by fostering compliance to a sustainable exploitation of marine resources.